How's it going guys? It's Reed Junkie here and today we have my Red 3, uh, Redmi Note 3 Pro. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM on it. So there are some prerequisites you're going to have to already have done. You're going to have to have the bootloader unlocked. You're going to have to have Twerp Recovery already installed. Um, whether you have root access with Super SU like I have here or not really doesn't matter. And then you're just going to have to download the custom ROM that you want to install. Now I am going to be installing an AOSP ROM that is pre-rooted and I'll show you what it looks like here. It's on my device already. So let's see if I can go to storage. I'm on SD card and there it is. AOSP-5.1.1 pre-rooted version 4 zip. That's what we're going to install today. That zip right there. So uh, make sure you have the custom ROM that you want to install on your device and you have those other prerequisites met. If you don't have Torp Recovery or Unlike Boodler, I have videos on both of those. I'll link them in the video description down below. I'm going to put a card up right here for those as well. So definitely go check out those videos. Um, from here, I'm going to try something. I think this will work. Um, if you're in your device and you want to boot into custom Torp Recovery, you can power off, hold power and volume up until you boot into recovery. That's one method. Or... I'm pretty sure you can actually use the update tool and use this option right here, reboot to recovery mode. So we're gonna just try that and see if it works. I really don't know if it will. Um, I'm assuming it will because Torp Recovery is our recovery on our device. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and see if it'll boot us into Torp Recovery. It'd be kinda neat to see if that works for us. Um, once we're in Torp Recovery, there's a couple things we're gonna be doing. Um, one of them that's really critical before you flash any ROM is creating an Android backup or your first Android backup. So definitely want to do that. So let's see if this works here. Should see the MI. There you go. MI.com. That's good. And then hopefully Torp should boot up. And it does. So excellent. So now you know you can use the updater application if you have Torp Recovery installed to boot right in. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is take a stock backup here. So you just hit backup, you make sure everything is checked, you select your storage location, I'm going to do it on my micro SD card, so that's good. And then you can have the auto generated name or you can add something, so I'm going to add, and make sure you don't have any spaces in it, I'm going to add um, MIUI7, and then I'll also add, because it is rooted, root. This way I just know what I've got here. This is MIUI 7, it's a rooted backup. That way I know what it is. Hit the little checkbox, and now you have your name, and then you just swipe across to create your Android backup of the current system. Now you should be backing up everything. So if you ever have to restore this backup, the device will go exactly back to the way it was when you created the backup. Everything, data, apps, settings, it'll all be there. Um, other thing that was important in that list was an EFS. And that's really critical to begin. Make sure you have at least one backup of that. Sometimes flashing custom rounds, you'll lose that partition. And once you lose it, it's a lot harder to get it back if you don't have a backup. So really critical to make sure you got that one as well. All right, I'm going to let this backup run. It's probably going to take about five minutes, and then we'll install the custom round. When making this custom recovery, a lot of times your screen will go dead and it'll just go blacked out, which is normal. Just hit the power button, and you'll be greeted with this little swipe to unlock screen. So just go ahead and swipe to unlock the device. And you can see here my uh, right there EFS is backing up. So basically this this backup is just wrapping up. There you go. You're done. You've created your first Android backup. Now, if you need to ever restore that, just boot into Torp Recovery with the volume up and power from a powered off state. Click on Restore. And you can see I have a China developer ROM backup and this MIUI 7 rooted backup right there. So we have either option. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do our install. So to do the install, you're going to come over here to wipe, and you have to wipe data factory set the device basically to do a fresh install. So we'll just swipe across to do that very quickly. Very nice. And then we'll go to install, select AOSP ROM, pre-rooted image, and swipe across to flash. Now this flash should be pretty stinking quick. It's a very small operating system. It's a half a gig. Whereas a lot of operating systems nowadays can be up to two. So the flash shouldn't take too long to extract everything and have a pre-rooted AOSP, basically stock Android um, experience. So AOSP is Android Open Source Project, which is awesome. And it'll be pre-rooted. It even comes with some things like Exposed Framework and some other cool goodies in there as well. So once this thing finishes the install process, 
we'll go ahead and show you i'll do the setup and then i'm going to just show you aosp running here on the redmi note 3 pro there you go it is basically done there we go so let's do a reboot system that'll boot us out of torp recovery and now i'm not sure if there's a different boot animation here i think it's still um, I know the boot logo is the same, obviously, it says mi.com, but I'm pretty sure the boot animation, I think, is actually the same as well, which is a little surprising to me. Um, but let's take a look. Like I said, I'll go through the setup and just show you AOSP on the Redmi Note 3 Pro, or Note 3, either one. Quick note, uh, first boot up can take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. If the device does not boot after 10 minutes, and you're still seeing the same screen, you have an issue with the install. Go in and power it off, boot to recovery, restore your Nandroid backup, or flash a different custom ROM. Oh, I just had to show you. It does have the Android boot animation. Now this is an older Android boot animation. Uh, I think it would be from, I don't know, Lollipop maybe even. Um, but it is there, which is pretty sweet. So the logo stays the same, but the boot animation for AOSP is definitely changed. There it is, the welcome screen. Yay! So I'm just going to go ahead and run through SkidUp setup really quickly, connect up to my device, um, connect up to Wi-Fi, and um, just show you guys the ROM. All right. Here we go. We booted up. Now, I just that, that wallpaper irritates me, so I just got to change it right now. We're gonna go with something cooler. I actually like this red wallpaper. It's kind of kind of sweet, and I don't like that clock either. See, some of this custom this default customization stuff is just bad. Here, there we go. Let's go with that. Shabam, and get rid of that. Okay, now we can look at this thing. All right, so this is AOSP. Uh, there is your quick toggle pull down, your flashlight, which does function quite well. Um, you know, your brightness settings and whatnot. You can get up here into your battery, the user, you can get into settings that way. Now, obviously, this is not like MIUI because we have uh, an app drawer. Yay, which is way more like the US. So, this is where it contains all of your applications right here, very simply and easily. Um, you can see what we're working with. I guess the things that I'd point out would be the CM file manager, which is a root access file manager right there. Um, mobile hotspots right there. The camera. We have Super SU for root access, like I said. And then the other thing that's really cool is exposed installer is built right in. So we can get exposed framework modules working quite easily because it's already built into the ROM. Otherwise, you can see it's very much stock standard out, you know, standard standard ROM right there. If you go in here, you can hit menu, you can get to all your different things, you can check out your different screens, wallpapers, widgets, settings, and we can get in here and check it out as well. So different things, SIM cards, buttons, status bar, if you want to adjust things, show battery percentage maybe in the top, you can add that up there for 84% battery. Um, let's see what else we got here, storage, users, apps, so I'm kind of curious, I don't know, let's see, oh it is. So your fingerprint sensor on the back is supported. So we can go ahead and add fingerprint enable authentication and it's set up with a fingerprint, let's see. Yeah, so should be able to get that functioning as well, which is awesome, fingerprint security. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. So should pretty much have full functionality. So this is the basic custom ROM here with AOSP, it's stock Android is basically what you're dealing with, so. Um, that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Kind of quick little overview here on the Redmi Note 3 Pro AOSP ROM. But these steps that I just covered will work basically with any custom ROM you install. There might be a variance in how many zips you install. You know, this one's just one. You might have to install a zip plus a Google Applications and maybe even Flash SuperSue. So you might have to install up to three zips there in custom recovery. But the process of making in the backup and installing a custom ROM is basically the same on every install I've ever seen. So follow the thread you find the ROM in, read the directions, and you should have no problems. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. Stay tuned for more videos on this device. Please comment below if you want to see anything specific, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.